Last class, I didn't get a chance to uh, finish up that pulley problem we were looking looking at, looking to solve. So I thought I'd make this video here to show you uh, how we can solve uh, similar pulley problems. This is uh, these will be problems out of the Hibbler uh, PDF that we have, and uh, I'll try to solve two problems here. And uh, if we employ uh, what we have been using on solving uh, st structure problems and statics, uh, solving the pulley problems is not so difficult. So let's look at this first problem right here. Um, determine the force P needed to hold the 20-pound block in equilibrium. In other words, just holding it still, we want to find that force P pulling down on the end of that one rope. Okay, now with that, what we do is uh, we can first uh, follow the ropes uh, through the pulleys and knowing uh, that because uh, if we have a continuous length of rope that uh, every section of that continuous length of rope uh, pretty much uh, should also be pulling with P. So. Here we have this here. Let me expand this out. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're pulling down with P. So here we also have P. So this is P. This is P. Pulling up and down uh, there on those two pulleys. Remember, ropes are always going to be in tension. Uh, and then we follow that rope around the bottom pulley. And we have this is going to be P pulling up here. And up here, we'll have P pulling down. Okay, great. But how about the rope that goes uh, CBA? That line of rope, it's a completely separate line of rope. And uh, we don't know what the force on that rope is. So that's unknown. And I'll call that force F. So we have force F pulling up there, pulling down, uh, pulling down and pulling up here is also F. Okay, so we've labeled all the forces on our ropes, and uh, we want the, the weight here to be 20 pounds there. Okay, now we can treat that whole pulley section as a system, and, and imagine that we're just going to be uh, uh, treating that as a black box. We want to look at all the external forces acting on the system. Now, uh, so let me do that and show you how it's relatively easy to, uh, to figure out these forces, P and F. Uh, looking first, your first initial glance on it, you might be, uh, you might think, oh, how do we solve that? We solve it this way. So I'm going to put, uh, imagine a black box here around that whole pulley system. Oh, I don't want to go over there. There. We have this whole pulley system. Like this. And then down like that. I notice this force P, consider that as an external force. Okay, so let's look at the external forces on that. Well, the force is pulling down. I'll just represent it right here. Forces, total forces push pulling down are going to be P plus 20. Okay, so uh, the sum of these forces going down is going to equal P plus 20 pounds. Up here, we have forces pulling up. So we have some of the forces pulling up. And that's going to be what? Well, we have... we. We have P, uh, it's going to have to pull up with P right here. We're going to have to have a P pulling up there and pulling up here uh, to counteract the forces pulling down because we're assuming here that the pulleys have no weight, which is actually not a bad approximation when you are uh, doing a back of the envelope calculation. Uh, the full, the pulleys have very little weight compared probably to what you're trying to lift with the pulley. 
Okay, so here at this point, notice that we have two forces pulling down here, F and F. So that means this has to be pulling up here with 2F. So we have P here, right, and, and uh, pulling up right at the top, P plus 2F. So treating this thing as an external system, we have total forces pulling down are P plus 20, total forces pulling up are P plus F, so we set those two being equal. So total external forces in the y direction have to add to zero. For them to add to zero, the forces pulling up at the top have to equal the forces pulling down at the bottom. So we get P plus 2F is equal to P plus 20. P's cancel, and we get 2F is equal to 20 or F is equal to 10. So right away, we now know what the force F is. Okay, that's great. Now, only one more step, and we'll have our final answer. And in particular, with that step, here, let me look in the middle of our pulley section. Let me look right in here. Okay, so notice that we have the force pulling up on this middle pulley is F. And the force pulling down is going to be this force plus this force. Both of those forces are P. So we also have the expression now, we can write it over here, that F is equal to 2P. You know, we just computed F is equal to 10. So that means P is equal to 5. So indeed, that's it. That's the solution of our problem. Our solution of our problem is P equals 5, F is equal to 2F, or 2, 2P, which then makes uh, F equal to 10. From up here, F is equal to 10. Okay, that's it. That, that's our problem. Works out easier than you might have thought uh, at the beginning. Now let's look at another problem on the next page of uh, Hibbler here. So I'm going to swipe over to the next page. Oh, there we go. And here we are right here. Now this is a problem. I think this is the one we were looking at the end of class. I'm not sure. Uh, 671. Determine the force P needed to support the 100-pound weight. Each pulley is a weight of 10 pounds. Also, what are the cord reactions at A and B? A is at the top, uh, coming down from the from the attachment to a, a beam or a ceiling, and uh, B is that force right there uh, at the bottom pulley in the center. So we do something actually quite similar here. So I'm going to say total external forces on the pulley system: forces pulling up, forces pulling down have to be the same. So let me, I mean, let's look at that here. So here I'm going to say force is pulling up and down. So we have, here, let me, there. So I have, that's okay. Total forces uh, pulling up. Uh, that's going to be here at A and C right there. Total forces pulling up. I'm going to be Um, two, if I call this here 100 pounds, here I wrote this 100 pounds, this is 100 pounds pulling down, and uh, I have P, well, let me just write total force of pulling down because that's obvious. It's going to be total force of pulling down are going to be at the bottom we see we have 100 plus P, 100 plus P. And what else do we have? 100 plus P, and then we said each of the pulleys is 10 pounds. So we have three pulleys. So force of pulling down are 100 plus P 
plus 30, because each of the pulleys is pulling down. Okay, now here we have P pulling down at this on this pulley right here. We follow that that rope around the pulley, so we have pulling down and pulling up. We have P over here because it's a continuous rope, and then pulling up we have a P here, and pulling down we have a P here. So we have that. Now let's call. We have one more section of rope. It's not connected to that section. And that's this middle section here. I'll call that four steps. So we have F pulling up, F pulling down, F pulling up, F pulling down right here. So now I can say the total forces pulling down here are going to be One hundred plus P plus thirty. Those are the forces pulling down. Forces pulling up from up here, right up here. Forces pulling up are going to be P plus the forces pulling down on that top pulley. The forces pulling down on that top pulley are going to be two F, this F and that F, plus the weight of that pulley, which is ten. So we have forces pulling up. equals P plus 2F plus 10. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm saying, okay, we have a force pulling down here, which is going to be P, and the total force pulling down here is going to be the weight of that pulley, which is 10, plus the 2F, the F that comes from uh, each sides of that rope hanging over that pulley. So we have forces pulling up, forces pulling down. We now have uh, two equations we can solve, uh, and, and, and but they uh, we cannot solve them. Uh, those, these two equations, well, let's solve them. We have set them equal. Total force of pulling up equals total force of pulling down. So we can say that this which is uh, 130, 130 plus P is going to have to equal this, which is P plus 2F plus 10 there. The P's cancel. So I can't solve those two equations for P. Um, now, let me subtract 10 from both sides. So I get 120 equals 2F, or this implies that F is equal to 60. So I now have F, here, let me make that here, 60. I now have F, but I don't have P yet. But I know F is equal to 60. Now what I am going to do is I am going to look at... Um, uh, another cross section. I'm just sort of going to cut a slice here. And if I cut a slice right here where the weight is, so let me mark that in red. So I cut a slice right there. And at that point, I'm going to look at total forces pulling up, total forces pulling down. Total forces pulling up are P plus P plus F. So I have pulling up at that point at that slice is 2p uh, plus f and that's got to equal the total force of pulling down here so we have 100 there and then we have the weight of one pulley so I can say 2p plus f is going to be equal to um, is going to equal to ten here plus a hundred, so we have ten plus a hundred, so this is equal to ten plus a hundred. So I have that second now doing a slice across a second place, looking at total forces pulling up, 
total force is pulling down. 2p plus f equals 10 plus 100. We know that f is equal to 60. Okay, so let's solve that. We get 2p plus 60 equals 110. Subtract 60 from both sides. We get 2p is equal to 50, where we get p is equal to 25. So now that solved our problem. Okay, so we can answer the question. Uh, we know that uh, P, everywhere where it appears, determine the force P needed to support the 100 pound weight. Each pulley uh, has a weight of 10 pounds. What are the reaction of chords A and B? We have P is equal to 25, and we have that force uh, uh, at, at point A and point B. Well, Point B is right here. We know point B is pulling up as F. And uh, we have that, uh, uh, so that force B is F. So we have the value of F is equal to 60. And we have uh, pulling down here is, uh, let me make that out. And pulling down at A is P, which is, uh, 60 there. So we have, no, I'm sorry, not 60, 25. So we have the force pulling down at A is 25. The force pulling up at, at point B is F, which is 60. And we have evaluated uh, those two numbers. So that's how we solve that problem. And um, now you can check this. You, you can pick a slice anywhere here, right here. And you can look at total forces pulling up and total forces pulling down uh, to check that they're uh, equal and they all, everything works the way it should. So uh, at, at that slice right there, we compute our total forces pulling down are going to be uh, P from here plus F from here plus the force pulling down right, uh, right at this point which is going to, uh, pulling up and pulling down, which is going to be F. So we know that force right there is 2F um, plus P, which is 145. Then we got to check. So we have forces pulling down are 2F plus P. So two, this equals 2F plus P, which is 145. And then we have total forces pulling up. Total force is pulling up at the, uh, uh, on this whole slice right here. We do the slice in the blue, crossing those three. Forces pulling up are going to be um, uh, here. We have P pulling up and F, 2F pulling down. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, well, trivially, it's also 145. We can do a, we can do slices anywhere. If we put in what the forces pulling up are, forces pulling down, we got it. Okay, so that's it for uh, my pulley examples.